Hello friends, my name is Alyssa and I'm the Science Program Manager at Boston Children's Museum. I want to welcome you back to my kitchen where we're doing another very cool kitchen science activity that combines chemistry and art. It's called milk plastic and what we'll be doing is using milk and uh, vinegar to create a soft dough that you can mold and then it will harden into a plastic. Now you have to use real dairy milk for this one or milk from some other kind of animal like maybe goat milk. There's a protein that only exists in animal milk and that's the reason that this project works. So it won't work with soy milk or almond milk or anything else like that. Okay, let's get started. Here's the materials that you'll need. You'll need one cup of milk. You'll need vinegar. I happen to have the world's biggest bottle of vinegar, but I have poured it out into a small bowl because you only need a little bit. You'll need a non-metal bowl, so a ceramic or a glass bowl a non-metal spoon. You'll need a strainer of some kind. And if you want, you can put a coffee filter in it. You don't have to if you don't have one, that's okay. And then you'll need either paper towels, or if you're me and you don't like to use paper towels, you can use a scrap of fabric from an old t-shirt. Now you don't want to use a terry cloth towel for this because the dough will get all gummed up in the terry cloth. So something smoother like, like this one. And if you want, you can use food coloring. I'm not going to because I prefer to paint or draw on my project when it's finished. But it's up to you. Ready to get going? Start by heating up your milk. I put mine in the microwave at 50% power for a little over four minutes, but it will depend on your microwave, so keep an eye on it. Pour the warm milk into a glass bowl. Then add four teaspoons of vinegar. Now I want you to make a prediction. What do you think will happen when I add vinegar to the milk? You can see it's sort of separating out. Now give it a stir. We're getting these little chunks in kind of a watery liquid. Definitely does not look like something you would want to drink anymore. Once you've got lots of good chunks, it's time to take it over to the sink and drain it. For this part, you'll need your strainer. And then I like to put a coffee filter in it. Makes it a little easier to separate out the chunks when you're done. Okay. Once you've got it as dry as you can, bring it back to the counter and we're going to dry it some more. Take your dough and dump it out into your fabric. Roll it up, give it a squeeze so you can get more of that liquid out. It can get pretty crumbly. Now take your dough and just play with it for a little while. Get it nice and soft and smooth and knead it like you would with bread dough. Now 
Once you've got your dough nice and smooth and soft, it's time to shape it. And you can do anything you can think of. You can flatten it out and use a cookie cutter on it. You can make it into a bunch of tiny little balls, make beads out of it. Just don't forget to poke a hole through the middle with a toothpick or something. You could make marbles or game pieces, really anything you want. And then once it's dry, you can color on it using markers or paint. Or if you decided to put food coloring in, it might just be ready to go. I have an idea for what I'm going to make. So one of my games has lost its dice. So I decided to make a pair of dice. Once they're dry, I'm going to mark the dots with a Sharpie marker. Now, depending on what you decided to do with your project, it can take anywhere from a day or two to more like a week for it to dry. The thinner it is, the shorter it will take, but mine are these kind of big fat blocks, so that'll take a while. And like I said, you can paint on your plastic or draw on it or decorate it however you want. I hope you try making milk plastic, and if you do, please send us photos or video of whatever it is that you decided to make. Don't forget to keep joining us back here on Facebook or YouTube or Instagram for more cool things you could try at home. Thanks for joining me again in my kitchen today, and I'll see you next time.